In this video, we'll talk about interactive input fields. Before jumping into the full tutorial, let me show you the example that what we are just going to make in this video, right? What is Melly for? Okay, so let's say this is in a login form. And now let's say you're just going to type your email address. And as you can see, you get to see in a blinking effect in here. And now you successfully input your email address. And then you get to see, okay, this is an wrong email address. So again, you input in a correct email address. And now, as you can see, it looks correct. So if you check here this five page, then you will get to see this type of file in here. All of these things you will get to see in here. So you just need to start it like from here, right? So first of all, let me work on this blinking effect. So this is merely the blinking effect so blinking effect it's something like if you see carefully that this is like the line is jumping this is mainly for the blink so we need to make it fast so to make it i just need to simply let's say i click on here this component button and again click on here this plus button and as you can see i get two of them one is like default and another is like variant two and this is coming from the blink so let me change the name into let's say five and now i need to do a little bit product let's say and also i need to do a little bit thing let's say just click on this t and make this layer let's say make it zero then it will be disable and now i need to make a let's say prototype and simply drag and drop here this line into the air and now i need to select into let's say after delay and it's going to be let's say 400 ms and the next i need to simply drag and drop in the top again and it's going to be again after delay and it's going to be the same let's say 400 ms okay so this is something that i just do hide it it's something like the opacity i make zero okay that, that i make opacity i make it zero okay so if you like to make it unable again then just put 100 percent then it will be 100 percent so now i just make it zero then now it's zero okay all right so now let's move to the next like this field again here so this field are very easy to make so since you will get this file in uh, on our description so you can just like check it out like how we just make so this is very simple i hope if you check this uh, field i i think you can make it by yourself you can follow this width and height anyway so let's select all of them and now simply click on here this arrow and just create a component set and this component set will be for the email so email i set up here let's say email and this is mainly for the five and now i need to do the prototype so let's go to the prototype and let's simply i drag and drop here and this is something let's say when i'm just going to click on so now it's selected click and we need to keep it in the stand and now again i need to click on here and i need to click on here as you can see when i'm just going to click on this field then it will be come to here but in next field i don't want to click let's say it's going to be something after delay so i'm just going to keep it 800 millisecond and now again i'm just going to make it this so that means when again i will click on this field then this email field will become okay so now what i need to do i need to click on here this uh let's component and first of all, I need to simply drag and drop at the blink effect. So simply select it and control X. And I need to replace this field into here, this email field. So I just double click and simply I need to paste here. So as you know that I, I was click control X. So it was cut and now I can press control V. Now it's coming in there. And now I simply need to remove here the before one from the old one and now as you can see it's replaced by here and the second thing i need to do that is simply again click on this component and select this email 5 and control x and come to here and this field and let's say click on here this email 5 and simply re replace it and just need to remove here the old one and now i need to click on here this 2 and uh, let's click on here this present button and now let's simply click as you can see it really works fine if I click on again here, as you can see, I get an email, but also I get an uh, error. And if I click on again here, it's, as you can see, looks fine. Okay. So if you like to change here this time, let's say you like to make more delay, or if you like to do the changes, then you can click on here this product button. Then you can make this delay also from here. If you like to do more delay, uh, then you can do it.